Hello everybody and welcome to Pix Mux Tuts. Today I'm going to show you how to install a program called Synergy. It's a very handy program that allows you to use the same keyboard and mouse on multiple computers. Uh, that means you can control a Windows computer, a Mac OS computer, and a Linux computer at the same time using the same keyboard and mouse. Now the first thing you're going to have to do is purchase this product if you want to use it. It is a paid program but it is really worth it if you use multiple operating systems or multiple computers. So before any uh, delay, let's get right into it. You're gonna to wanna to create an account using your email address and password, and I use the Remember Me. Once you do that, you'll be able to go to the Downloads page. You can see that there's several flavors. There's Mac OS, Windows, and several different versions of Linux. For this install, I'm going to use the Windows 64-bit version, and I'm just going to hit download right where the 64-bit text is and go to my downloads folder. Now, once it's saved there, you can double-click it or you can go to the folder it downloaded in and double-click that. From here, you'll see the installer comes on. You're just going to click Next. Where you want to save the program, I'm going to go with the default here. Next. And Install. You want to make sure you allow it. And Finish. A quick note, I did have to install the software key. When it prompted me to during the setup so you will want to do that as well once the install was finished the program auto launched from here you're going to want to decide how you want to use this computer this computer can be used as the server which is the computer that uses the keyboard and mouse to control all their computers or this computer can be one of what I like to refer to as zombie computers in which it'll be controlled from the computer that hosts the server. If you are to select the uses computers keyboard and mouse and make this computer the server, it will ask you to configure the server initially. Now I'm gonna add this to a server that I previously configured. So I'm gonna select the use another keyboard's mouse and keyboard make this computer the client slash zombie. Once I select that, I will need to get the server IP address or name of the computer that hosts the server. So let's go do that. So here's what my server looks like in Synergy. I had set it up, I named it Nitro because that's the type of laptop I have. If you hit the preferences, it allows you to choose a port and the settings profile for the current user or all users. That's really all you need to do. I do minimize it to the system tray. Under configure server, this allows you to drop your computers wherever you like within the orientation that you have your computer set up. From here, I'm gonna click okay. And I'm going to get the computer IP address from the very top left. Take a note of that and write it down. So I'm going to go back to the tutorial machine. And right there, that server IP address or name, I'm going to type the IP of the other computer. Click Connect. So as you can see here, Synergy gave me a window that says the Tut Machine client has made a connection request. You do have to accept and configure this in order for it to work. The client machine is going to tell you that you are now connected. So we can close this window and hit Apply. So as you can see here, 
Synergy gave me a window that says the Tup Machine client has made a connection request. You do have to accept and configure this in order for it to work. Now that I'm in my configuration settings, I moved the Tup Machine to the second from the left. When I clicked OK and I went back to the Tup Machine, if I go all the way to the left, I am now controlling the Tup Machine with my keyboard and mouse from my main laptop, Nitro. Well, that's all there is to it. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. If you want to see some of my future videos, like and subscribe. Until next time, Pixmux out.